Hello again, traders. Right, um, this is about the sixth attempt, attempt at this. Believe it or not, I keep getting interruptions and uh, my alerts keep going off for trades, so uh, it gets a little bit hectic. So we're uh, going to try and get through this um, without uh, interruptions this time. Basically, I want to show you how easy it is to set up an MT4 uh, trade station, even if you don't know what you're doing or the first thing about it. We're going to go through it step by step. I have actually downloaded a free version, or it, they're all free, free demo of uh, demo trade station of this Hugo, Hugo's Way. The only reason I suggest using this is because it's pretty, um, pretty good data feed actually. 365 days a year, 24/7. Uh, that's Saturdays, Sundays, bank holidays, Christmas Day, um, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. It goes all year round. So. Um, from the point of view of uh, getting on board with cryptos, uh, it uh, fills that void when I'm itching to trade at the weekends and uh, I'm unable to. So um, Hugo's Way, I wouldn't suggest using them uh, for live accounts. Do your own due diligence, do your own research as they say, and um, there are uh, better spreads basically. And um, you know, I'm not going to say anything derogatory about uh, any particular broker, so uh, just do your own research. So, um, I've already downloaded this, but you don't even have to give your email address or anything, just click the download button, download it into your chosen um, area on your hard drive, and then click install. And you will be confronted with something that looks like this a brand new uh, example of um, a MetaTrader. Uh, terminal so um, what you need then to do is uh, because this is running it it automatically sets you a brand new free account we can close a few of these down now and uh, let's start from scratch uh, let's bring the whole trade station into view if it will allow me to sorry I should have set up my desktop a little bit better So you can see everything that I can see. Apologies for this, but we will get there in the end. So now you can see everything. You've got a brand new account set up. Um, in this case with five thousand uh, dollars there's all your um your uh pairs as it were uh, if you want to open up a new um currency pair you just click on it oh that's an order sorry right click it chart window and there you have your cable chart so um now we need to install the um actual onesies train hopper expert advisor so the way you do that is uh, you can see that now there um, I will need to go to my desktop which I've already prepared something on there and uh, we'll copy and paste that into the um, into this area here so the way you do that is file open data folder my machine's running slow today for some reason and then go into your MQL4 fo folder experts and paste it into the experts now you should be able to right click that and refresh it and there you can see train hopper. Now the way you get that onto your chart is like that. And we're good to go. So to get it running, you have to then um, allow auto trading. And on the EA, go to properties. And uh, allow live trading. 
and you get a smiley face there and you're up and running with uh, the EA now is ready to take trades. Obviously the EA has various settings on it. We've got the default ones uh, set by onesie on here and it's not actually set up to run on cable, especially on H1. So um, we need to uh, find something else to put it on. You can save this now as a template. That's templates, that little thing there. Save the template and you can call it, let's call it onesie171. Save. And now if we open, let's get rid of all those symbols there. Symbols, uh, hide all. And we'll delete that one too. It, you'll find the ones that are open already, this lot here will stay in your symbols box until you close them all down manually. Show all. Hide all. Should clear. Oh, it hasn't. It should have cleared everything in there. Ah, oh, there we go. No, it still hasn't. Let's try again. See whether it will clear all of them this time. There, just for tidiness. So now I want to look at um, at uh, cryptos, and I want to open. Uh, let's open dot USD. You will see it there. Chart window, and now we can uh, set load that template up. 1Z171, there you go, and you're good to go on dot. Let's stick it on the H on the M1 chart. And now uh, it's raring to go on the dot USD chart. In order to load a set file from um, for dot, we need to load a set file. So on the expert advisor, properties, inputs load and we will look for the set file on my desktop and one I made earlier okay and now that is good to run on the one minute chart on dot USD so let's have a look at the strategy tester now so we get rid of the uh, order window the terminal window you can load that and unload it from there uh, view strategy tester that's there and now how do we load uh, the um, EA into strategy tester I have a problem saying that we fill out the EA symbol dot USD we can drag that into the symbol window uh, we have it on every tick at the moment uh, we need to specify a date to run the strategy tester so the quickest way to get uh, to the current date is just do that, today's date. And then we can change it, say, to run from the 1st of February. And we will once again, this bears no relation to what's going on up there. So we have to change uh, that to M5, I think I set up my, I did, yeah. And then we need to, this is important, you need to set the spread the EA won't work because the spread is too large on, large on cryptos. Set the spread to um, uh, uh, an unrealistic level. So two is the lowest you can go on there. You can fill it in manually as one, I think, also. Then we need to load the um, set file into this. This is worth m mentioning as well. If you've only got it set to 500, it probably won't tr trade because of margin and various other reasons. It won't trade cryptos properly. So always ma make sure you've got a reasonable size account on your uh, on your um, strategy tester. And then load the set file again. There it is there. And uh, that's okay. And now we can actually uh, set this off. So you have to press OK and we can press start. Let's pull that up slightly so you can see all the settings. Remember to check the speed as well. So if we press start on this it will run that and um, 
and give us some results. And there you can see there's your uh, results there. If you want to run a visual mode, this is where you have to remember to speed it up a bit. Press start on there and it will start to run on visual mode. So there is no way to speed this up unfortunately. Uh, MT4 strategy tester isn't the best thing in the world. But as you can see now it's taking trades and um, updating all the different bits and pieces. And this is how I use it. So now um, on a live account what you would want to do in order to get it to send alerts to your phone is um, you on the MT4 terminal, we can stop that now, but you can see what I'm doing. So this will start buzzing on my phone the minute we get these entries. And all I want to see really is that the entries tie up with my um, manual strategy and uh, then we're good to go. So to get this to work on a live account, you uh, let's put the proper scroll on there. To get it to work on a live account, that should be bibbling up and down there. Oh, it is moving. All you have to do then is um, load MT4 um, app onto your phone. And then in the tools, you go to options, you go to notifications, enable push notifications. And um, on your phone, once you've loaded the app on your phone, you'll have, uh, I think it's six or seven digits and it's in capitals. And it'll be something like A, D, E, E, B, um, oop. It'll be something like uh, this here. Oh, needs another. That's odd. Why isn't that? Anyway, you'll get, a, you'll get an identifier like that on your phone app. You put that into this and then this communicates with your phone and it will start to alert the minute every moment it takes a trade you can test it by sending um, the alert there and it's as simple as that that's it you're good to go so there you go guys i've installed a brand new version of hugo's way i've installed shown you where to install the um the train hopper ea uh, you can add your scripts the same way file open data folder that's how you add indicators to all this. So all the indicators that are on my um, on my uh, pinned tweet on Twitter, best forex method, need to go in here as well. And you need to put them into the MQL MQL4 folder. The expert went in there, of course. Uh, your indicators should all go in there. That's the RSI histo alert and those sort of things there, and they will show up then in the panel on your MetaTrader. Uh, what else do we use? Scripts. I use uh, the line scripts, snap two lines and various stuff like that. Closing trades, uh, auto um, uh, setting trades and stuff like that. So that's it. That's, that's basically how to install, run and use MetaTrader. And then all, you've got all the other stuff that you can play around with. You can change this to uh, candles, obviously. You can add moving averages to it, uh, tools, insert, indicators, um, trend, moving average, and that's how you add all your different moving averages. So let's put an 89 in one of my favorite colors, magenta, thicken up the line, and that will then be on your chart. You can change that like that change it to a 10 change the color you can add multiple MAs obviously much the same as every other chart so uh, every other thing you do on different uh, charts but this was all about setting up your um, alert facility if you like this will be great fun over the weekends uh, how to use strategy tester all the different settings on train hopper will be um, can be manually input so one's he's got this timer on here my default was one to uh, the end of the day 
Not quite sure why ones is set it to uh, like 28 hours or something, but uh, I've never asked. But it, it goes f further than the normal um, uh, 0 to uh, 24. So, But that's it. Start time, start minute, start hour, start minute, end hour, end minute. You can set it to, let's say, you want to set it. My broker's two hours ahead, so 8 o'clock in the morning would be 10 o'clock start. And you can set it to run at uh, 15 minutes past or 22 minutes past. Oops, what happened there? Didn't highlight the time. Where's it gone? 22 minutes past. Set it to only run till 10 o'clock in the morning, two hours difference, remember, and 10.59 or 10.53. It is that um, user-friendly. And Onesies kindly set us up uh, three different times of day. <coughs> so uh, there you go guys that's how to um, set up and run your uh, trade station under MT4 thanks for watching have a great day and I hope that helps